welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sarah and i am the owner of the i can help your reliable virtual assistant in my videos i am sharing tutorials for beginners i am also doing free training for aspiring freelancers or virtual assistants out there if you want to join in any of my training please feel free to message me in any of the social media accounts reflected on your screen Without further ado, let's get started. In today's video, I will teach you guys how to create this glowing effect on your photos. So as you can see on my screen, I have here a sample um, work. So there is a picture and um, as you, there is a glowing effect on this picture that is in color green okay so here you go so that is um what we are going to achieve in this video okay so you must have seen if you followed my social media account you must have seen this example work so i have here the photo and a quick um caption for this photo so okay to start of course we have to add another frame another page i mean so we will add another page so this is where we are going to edit or create our glowing effect on a photo okay so what i will do is um if you are new to canva once you signed in or created your account this will be the dashboard that you will see okay so you have here your templates you have here your tools and other options okay so we just simply create or select any template that you want to work with okay so you am um, currently in this example i am using a facebook ad template okay and then once you selected like a template you just simply click on the blank um template Okay, because you will be adding elements in that blank page. Okay, so this is our blank page. Now, the first step that we have to do is to select the pictures that we want to work with. Okay, so actually in Canva, you there are a lot of or there are tons of pictures that you can use. If you click on more right here, so you can actually find Pixels and Pixabay. This holds tons of pictures for you to use, okay? Now, if you have um, a photo that you want to use, I mean a personal photo from your desktop or computer, you can upload that in Canva by clicking on Uploads and then click this button right here, Upload Image, and then select the picture or um, photo that you want to um, use okay so for this example i'll be selecting a picture from pixels so let me just search for for example fashion model okay um okay now let's just uh, select so this is the picture that i used okay so um once you found the photo that you want to work with just simply click on that photo and that will appear on your page okay so as you can see i already have it right here okay so the next step that we have to do this is very easy what we are we, what we have to do is to delete the background of this photo so we only need the main object on this photo which is this um, guy right here and the backs okay so what we have to do is to click on effects so you can find that in this upper portion you can find effects and then click on background remover Okay, we have to delete the background of the photo first so that we can play around with the background. Okay, this will take a seconds. And um, what is convenient with Canva is that you can delete the background in just a click, um, in, in just a few clicks. Unlike with the other tools, you have to manually delete it. Unless you are an expert to those tools, it will be easier for you, but for um, newbies it will be a kind of a tricky part so deleting the background so now we already have our photo without the background okay so the next step that we have to do is to duplicate this picture because the second picture will uh, will serve as our background okay to duplicate this one simply click ctrl c and then ctrl v or you can also click ctrl d okay so there 
Now I have two pictures, both without a background. So what we're going to do now is to edit this, the, the other picture. So we will be changing the color of this one. How do you do that? So simply click on that picture, go to effects, and then here you will find a duotone. Okay, so you just simply select any color that you want, but for this example, I'll be using the color sea green. So we can either myrtle or any kind of um, green, but for now, we'll be using the sea green right here. And look how it turned the photo into color green. Okay, so now the next step is we will just adjust the color so that the overall color of this image is only green without any dark parts. As you can see, there is still a shadow in this image that is in this color. So what we will do is we have to copy this color right here and then um, use that in the other or in the shadow so that we will have a plain color which is green. Okay, so now you can click apply. So as you can see, we already have our green photo right here. It's completely green. Okay, so you must have seen how we selected um, the, uh, the changing the color of the shadow so that it will be completely green or according to what color you are going to use. Okay, so the next part is creating the shadowy effect of this one before adding or before um, putting together these two photos, okay? So we have to create the shadow effect of the edges of this picture. So go to adjust. You can find that um, next to filter. There is an adjust right there and we will adjust the blur, okay? So the key there is to adjust the blur. So simply adjust it according to how you want it okay for this example i think i'm good with 17 okay or this one right there okay so now we have a blur effect now the next step is since this will serve as a background as you can remember we only duplicated this photo so that means they are of the same size now what we need to do is to increase the size of this background by simply dragging the corners or um, you know increasing the size as you can see i'm already increasing the size right here Okay, right there. So for example, we'll have this as our background. Let me just adjust a little bit. Okay, so there. Now our next step is adding this photo on top of this background. Okay, so as you can see, it is behind because we created this first prior to this one. So what we will do is send this at the front or you can right click and select to bring front or you can click on the position and forward okay so for example position and forward okay let's see there okay so now we have our photo and then we it's already on top of the second photo so now let's just place this photo um on top of the second photo there you go so right there we just simply created a background effect for our main object so if you want to to be consistent with um you know that it's not appearing too big so right there you can adjust the size whichever you prefer so there now we have our photo with a green glowing background so as easy as that you can already create your ama your beautiful photos with this highlights with this kind of glowing effect um so re just remember the steps that i've showed you so for for you to use this that so that this object will be like um grouped together so that whenever you move the first um, picture, the others will be like, they'll be considered as one object. Simply click on control A. Okay, so that they will be selected. All of the objects in the, the page will be selected and then click on group. But then if you have a lot of um, elements in there, you just simply um, select the, the objects that you want to group together and then click on group. Okay, as you can see, it's all, they are already grouped together. So we have one object and this picture that we have is uh, has now a glowing effect um, at the back.
okay so to create this effect or this example right here i only added the background um, which is in gradient which is effect with this effect and then added some font right here and as you can see um, a simple set you can already create this kind of example so I hope you were able to follow um, the process. And um, again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for you to be updated for any latest uploads. Okay, see you again in my next video and keep safe everyone. Bye.